Hello there. Today we're going to salvage some components from an old telephone. It's useless as a telephone, but you might notice there's some really interesting parts in here, I think. I'm not sure. So uh, let's find out. Let's take this thing apart and see if we can salvage anything. So first thing is take the handset off. Now let's take this bracket off. I will probably save the screws. Almost certainly. So now our first obstacle is, how does this come off? I don't know. When in doubt, pry. I don't care about the phone, so no reason not to just tear it apart. Doesn't look like this is any value. Goes in the recycling. So, I suspect I'll be able to salvage the LCD screen. This appears to have a 40 character wide, two rows of uh, characters. I don't know if it's parallel or serial or who knows what it is. It'll be interesting to find out. Also, something interesting is uh, this. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this display is interesting. It has arrows pointing to the buttons. Obviously, there's a speaker there. The screws are sticking to a magnet. Looks like all the screws are out. Check under the label. I think that's it. So, I'm not going to be gentle. I'm just going to start ripping. Ah, there's a speaker. Oh, look at this. This is great. This looks parallel. Fabulous. Also, this comes off an entire display, self-contained. This is wonderful. Looks like all the screws are the same, too. That's helpful. It makes reusing them even easier if you have a bunch of the same type. Yeah, the name of this phone system is not even really... The name of this phone system is just stuck on there. Whatever. Who cares? That's all I care about. Now on to the rest of this. There's not much here that's of value. Obviously the speaker is. So, take some side cuts and uh, chop that off. This is a nice foam insulator, but there's probably screws. Obviously that won't work. Pull these out. It's uh, 52 ohms at 0.5 watts. Now that is bizarre. But, you know, when you're designing something yourself, maybe that's all they had available or all they could get cheap, or maybe there's something about this circuit that requires it to be 52 ohms. I don't know. But 52 ohms or not, who cares? It's a speaker. We can make it work. Something. Some various mechanical components. I can't rightly tell you what that is, so let's remove it. I think it's a mic. Electric condenser mics are uh, always handy to have around. Kind of anxious to get this apart and see what's on the other side of this. There's a couple different types of screws. I'm going to keep that because, you know, that fits the speaker. That might come in handy for something. It's small enough, same size as the speaker. And uh, electric condenser with a uh, crude directional thing. I don't know. 
that may not be useful, but the mic certainly might be. Let's get this board out of here. Unscrew two. Big inductor. It's a ferrite bead. Probably a choke of some sort. I see LED symbols here next to some of these traces. Maybe those are usable. I don't know. LEDs are cheap though. I don't know about you. I'm not going to try to save these. Maybe you want to. I don't know. This is interesting. I don't know that it's worth the time to take off. Uh, there's some capacitors and a line transformer of some sort, audio transformer. I, uh, I don't need any of that. These. Shorting jumpers. Absolutely, I will keep. That's useful. So I think there are a few more screws. All right. That appears to be all of the screws. There's some plastic tabs here. I don't care. Good enough. Horrible membrane buttons. I mean, they work, but they're horrible. That's awful. <sighs> Cheap to manufacture, but awful, I think. Quality control, junk little LED. Again, I think this deserves to go to a recycler. There is nothing worth the time to take it off. Same thing with all these membranes. This, ah, I was hoping for better. <sighs> That's not worth my time. It's a shame, but those types of contacts, great for manufacturing, maybe. I mean, I, they used them for years, but they're terrible for home brewing or something. All these plastic buttons and yeah, recycling is junk. Lots of junk. You know, I'll keep this. Why, you might ask? Well, they're membranes. I mean, this is nice. This is a nice, even layout. You could cut it and use it for something else. If you did have a membrane uh, keypad somewhere, or better yet, if one's damaged, you can uh, slice these little guys out and reuse them. So, uh, that's it. I think I'm going to take this apart too. I don't necessarily want it in this housing. It's kind of hokey, really. I'd like to mount it to something directly. What a prize. A free piece of trash. This might well save me $40. Look at that. That's great. So keep your eyes out for these things. You might be surprised what you can find for free or cheap. In the end, we were able to salvage LCD screen, a bunch of screws, a couple jumper switches, two springs, and uh, I'd be tempted to take this apart, but A, I don't need a handset, B, the microphone and the speaker are really not that great in this, and C, look, sonically welded. Take me all day to take that apart. Forget it. Trash. It's copper and plastic. Sort these guys out. Put them where they belong. Keep them uh, all separated. Don't jumble this stuff together or you'll regret it down the line when you're trying to find something. Get yourself some little thread box. They make parts boxes for this. There's a nice box right there for sorting these parts out. You can see I've got some parts already in here. Here's a little cubby for springs. Drop those in there.
you might find an occasion to have jumper switches as well. These little shorting jumpers are great. I have a whole drawer for that stuff. Also headers. I keep them in the same place. I don't necessarily use them together. I also keep various pens for these types of headers. And a tool. I keep the tool for the pens with the pens. That's two dollars. Buy one. Harbor Freight. This one's about seven dollars. Fastenal. If you don't have a Fastenal account, you can't get one, go to Harbor Freight. They have lots of these of various kinds. And you see this one goes down to six. Nut gauge. Has a simple ruler for measuring things. Flip side. This one has nothing. That's why it's cheaper. This one. Thread gauge. You know, if you're going to do anything, buy some tools. They're cheap. They'll save you a lot of time in the long run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.